so from omnichannel to endless aisle to click and collect to grab and go, I mean, how does a, a retailer join all of this up? You know, from, from offline to online, online to offline. It's a challenge, isn't it? What are your thoughts on this? It is a challenge without any shadow of a doubt. Um, the, the whole O2O journey is, is one that retailers talk to us about all the time. That challenge, whether you be a retail or hospitality organization, is fundamentally similar in as much as you've now got both challenges of, of, of collating the data from multiple channels that you didn't have previously, and you've got additional data that you didn't have before as well. So if you put all that together, it, it really does become a massive, massive task. So what we're saying is that the insight that is within that data pool and that collated data gives you the opportunity to look at how you change your operational practices and the business outcomes that you want to achieve. But you need, you need a very strong foundation against which you start collating that information in the first place. For me, if you're a traditional bricks and mortar business, you've got an e-commerce part of your business as well, you know everything that happens online. You know what your customers are doing. You have no idea what anybody's doing in your store. So the online to offline is that ability to start to get the same level of insight that you have within store that you currently have online. So, and there are technologies out there now that enable you to start to understand that. And I think to me, being able to get the same level of insight and start to join that data together, then you'll start to get a true online to offline journey. And, and today, no one's doing that. We see the types of technologies such as LiDAR being a, a, a real opportunity, both circumventing privacy issues, you know, uh, GDPR type issues, because we're not looking at the individual themselves, we're looking at the behavior of a shopper uh, with, with total anonymity. Um, but it, it's giving you the opportunity to say, where does that shopper travel? Does he or she only go to customer service? At what time of day do they use the sushi bar? Are they completing their transaction? So are we monitoring queues properly as a retailer? Now LiDAR then says, well, actually we can, we can actually start to give you this insight, this information about the fact that someone passed the queue, they dwelt for a few seconds and they moved on. So that, did they decide in that period of time that the queue was too long? And of course the business outcome there is, do I need to then alter my operational practices in terms of staffing? Do I need to open another checkout? between 10 and 11 in the morning. We're not sort of dictating what the operational answer is. We're providing the insight through innovation and technology as to the practices behind retailing that can be affected by in-store behavior as a result. Yes.